So this is the Emacs Tiny Mock Face, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a Fly Sky Tiny Hawk. So it comes with the Tiny Hawk, it comes with the 450 milliamp hour high volt high volt lipo, so the screwdriver, a couple stickers, manual, and the charger. And a couple extra spare parts in case you need them. We have our Fly Sky receiver. This is a FS82 model. It's very simple. There's the iOS wire, there's a 5 volt wire, and there's a ground wire. First of all, you're going to need to charge up your lipos if you want to fly them. So I'll go plug the lipo in and plug it into the USB port. Second of all, you're going to want to take the bottom plate off of your Tiny Hawk. So it comes with a handy dandy little screwdriver and you just unscrew these four screws on the bottom of your tiny hawk. So I'll set these four screws off to the side and this bottom plate should pop off. All we are looking for is RX1, ground, and 5 volts. So there we have our RX pad by our binding button. And our ground and 5 volts are on the top of this receiver. I'm going to have to pull it out, and this pops right out, and all the motors are still plugged in. Okay, those unplugged pretty easily, just need a little, little bit more pulling than I expected. So we need to solder a wire to the ground, which we'll just put on the ground of the battery, and RX1, which is right there, and then 5 volt pad, which is right in the middle there. I'm waiting for my soldering iron to heat up. I'm gonna go and clip the last inch or so of wire from my receiver. So I'm gonna put a good three and a half inches of wire here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my nails and pinch off the last ever so slight bit of tubing covering this wire. Uniform, about a millimeter and a half a bit of wire showing there. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pin these pads on the tiny hop. And now we have to pin these three little wires so they will go on very easily. Clamp them down quick. Grab my soldering iron. Get them nice and shiny, like so. Again, black wire is ground, red wire is 5 volts, and then this yellow wire is the iBus wire, which goes to RX1. But on the bottom where I can't reach it. sure to get it nice and centered there. And finally, I will just ground out putting the black wire way over here on the negative battery terminal. I'm give it a little tug just to make sure my soldering is secure. There, that's all this work you need to do. So let's bind it to our remote. So I put Fly Sky I6 here. We'll push the whole thing down the bind button. Get our flight control. There we go. Blinking, fast blinking light on this. Hold down this. Turn it on. And we have got it bound.
That's it.